when Windows 8 came out, everything changed, including the boot manager. My name is Martin Noble, let's go and get started. Hey guys, I'm going to be showing you the all new Windows 8 boot manager. So, it has a completely different interface to the Windows 7 and Windows Vista, such as the interface changed from a 1985 to a Windows 8 Metro kind of theme. As you can see, I have four options, Windows 8.1 and some others, and it also tells you to choose. This boot manager also has the ability of keyboard, mouse, and tablets, so you can also do touch screen. So I have a choice of four operating systems. I'm going to do change defaults or choose other options. So you have three choices. You can change the timer, which you can either change from five minutes, 30 seconds, or five seconds, depending on what your choice is. But if you use command prompt, you could modify that as well. Now let's go back. You can choose a default operating system. And then if you choose a Windows 7, it will go back to the old Windows 7 boot manager. So, And then you can also choose other options, such as you can continue to back to Windows 8.1. Use a device. So i got all these devices over here. Use another operating system. Troubleshooting, which you have refresh reset or advanced options. Let's go into advanced options and startup settings. So you, it will tell you what settings it has then click on restart. So now it's restarting. Now these are all the startup settings. What, you have about nine and it's it's almost the same as Windows 7 except for the fact that it's now more metro based. So press F10 for more options. Now let's do launch recovery environment and even that has also changed. So now it says please wait while it loads the RAM drive and and that was quick. It already finished loading the RAM drive and loading into Windows 8's recovery mode which is also based on the Metro Boot Manager. Like that. And then you have the choices, continue, user device, etc. But let's go into troubleshoot. Now let's go into advanced options and try using command prompt. Now it's going to ask you for your username and password just for sec security purposes. And you can also change the keyboard layout. Over here we have the command prompt, as you can see. And then you can type in whatever, like the task manager and you can even open notepad if you want as shows a Windows 7 basic kind of theme and then you also can turn off your PC if you don't want to use it anymore use the device let's try this out and go into EFI internal shell because this is based on the VMware boot manager VMware fusion oh it doesn't work Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't on certain computers, depending if yours is BIOS or UEFI. So let's go back to choosing the other options. Choose other options. Troubleshoot. Actually, no, no. Tr let's just continue. If you click on continue, it will go straight into the login screen, and then you just go in, type your password. And then voila, you have logged in. You could also access the boot manager from start. So all you need to do is press start, go and change account picture, go back, as you can see on the left, go to update and recovery, click on recovery, advanced startup restart now. It will automatically log you out and take you back to the boot manager. which sometimes it will take a while. So there you have it. This is the all new Windows 8 and Windows 8.1 boot manager. It's completely different to the Windows 7 or Vista one. If you have any questions or 
comments, leave it below. My name is Adino Martin Noble. Thank you for watching and see you guys in my next video.